This week in agribusiness, serving America's most essential industry with agriculture broadcaster Orion Samuelson and yours truly, Max Armstrong, and featuring agriculture meteorologist Greg Solier. This week in agribusiness is brought to you by Firestone. You never farm alone. Global leaders gathered in Glasgow, Scotland to discuss climate change and agriculture had a seat at the table. Hello folks, welcome to This Week in Agribusiness. I'm Mike Pearson here in the studio this week. We'll hear from Max Armstrong a little bit later in the program. This time of year, a lot of farmers are watching the weather to make sure they can get their crops out in time. But a lot of global leaders gathered in Scotland to discuss not the weather, but the climate. We're joined this week by Anne Meese. She is the chairwoman of the U.S. Farmers and Ranchers in Action. She had a chance to be in Glasgow, Scotland. And Anne, thanks for taking the time to talk to us this week. Glad to be here. In agriculture, oftentimes we feel as though climate change activists view us as the problem. You had a chance to interact with over 30,000 people in Glasgow for this COP26 conference. And what was your reception like as a farmer at this show? Well, there's definitely a European um, influence there at the UN climate talks. And I will be perfectly honest with you that U.S. agriculture is often viewed as industrial ag, and there is strong forces out there that believe that animal agriculture is part of the problem. That's why organizations like USFRA, who want to bring that united voice of U.S. agriculture to conversations like this are so important because um, what I saw there was that climate change conferences in the past was mainly focused on energy and a reduction of emissions. Well, that's certainly important, but there's this real shift in conversations and a focus on nature-based solutions. So these nature-based solutions have been focused also on forests and natural lands, but boy, isn't it time for the millions of farmers who steward the land and natural resources that we stand up and that we're heard and we use our voice to show that we are part of the solution for this climate change. And it's, it's happening as we speak, these shifts are happening. And we know that we're the eco workforce. I'm good. I just love that term and I'm going to use it whenever I can. That not only have we been entrusted to provide food, but also leave this land better than we found it for the next generation. So we have to shift this focus toward land solutions and who better than those of us who are closest to the so soil need to be there and how help steer this movement. That is true. And in order to be heard, you've got to be in a room with the decision makers. And while you were in Glasgow, did you have the conversation to sit with any of the, the leaders in this space? Well, leadership at USFRA has changed and we have real leadership at USFRA that made, was knocking down doors years, two years before we attended this conference working with people who are the decision makers and, um, you know, ha having Zoom meetings with everyone who was there. Uh, for example, we met with three global sustainability supply chains of three major global companies. Cargill, I sat down with their global supply, Nestle Company, uh, McDonald's Corporation. Those are the kind of connections that we've made in this organization because those are the decision makers who are concerned about their supply chain, are getting their food from the farmers, and they want to get this right too. And they want to work with farmers and organizations like USFRA. So, Anne, how can farmers who are interested in this or even those who aren't be a part of these solutions as these shifts happen in perception of environmental issues? Absolutely. We certainly welcome the major commodities back to the table at USFRA. And what we've done is through our work with a, uh, through the value chain and supply chain, we've created a common vision for agriculture called the decade of ag. I encourage everyone to Google the decade of ag under USFRA website and join the movement where we can elevate agriculture as part of the solution. These conversations are only getting started. It's great to have a seat at the table and Mies from U.S. Farmers and Ranchers in Action.